Hi, I'm Nick from Glowforge, and today I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of using Proofgrade Eco Iron-On Transfer Material. I'll explain a little bit about the material and how it works, and then walk you through an example print. It's a great material to work with, so let's get started. Let's start by talking about the material itself. Unlike most iron-on materials, Proofgrade Eco Iron-On Transfer Material is laser safe. It's designed specifically to provide the best results with your Aura Craft laser. Eco Transfer Material also has two parts. The first part, the transfer material, adheres to the second part, which is the shiny backing material. When you put it in your Aura, place it flat with the QR code facing up towards you. Once your design is complete, you'll put the iron-on material face down, apply the heat, and then remove the backing material. And this is the important bit. Because we put it face down, that means your design needs to be mirrored to look right once it's applied to your fabric. It also means that you'll be scoring through the transfer material without cutting the backing. Sometimes that's called a kiss cut. You'll still have the backing intact and that'll help keep your design together until you transfer it to fabric. Sounds easy, right? So let's see how it works. Let's start by going to app.glowforge.com and signing in. Today, let's make something from scratch. So start by clicking create a new design and then choose create a blank design. Click the large plus button in the middle of the toolbar to add artwork to our blank design. Today, I'm gonna to select something from the graphics library that comes with premium. Let's double check that this is a score step in the app. Remember, we want to cut only through the transfer material without cutting the backing. Remember, a kiss cut. Now I'm gonna customize my design even further by adding my friend's name using the text tool. I want the name to be about four inches wide so I can quickly resize it using this text tool here. This text should also be a score step so we cut through just the transfer material and not the backing. Next, I'll add a cutout around the entire design. This doesn't have to be exact, but I do wanna give myself enough room around the design so I can peel the backing away later. This time, I'm gonna set this step to a cut because I want the laser to go all the way through the material. And I'm gonna drag it so it's the final step. There, that looks great. And I'm excited to see it in real life. Before I print it though, remember, I have to flip it so the iron-on looks right. Otherwise, all my letters will be backwards. Glowforge Premium includes just the tool for the job. I start by pressing Command and A on a Mac or Control and A on a PC to select the entire design. And then from the toolbar on the right, I just click Flip Horizontal. Then finally, let's click Print. After a moment, the app will let you know how long the process will take, and then you'll see the button blink on your aura. Go ahead, press it. Once the print is all done, just wait an extra moment for the smoke to clear, and then you can open the lid and take out your print. Finish up by removing any material that isn't part of the design using maybe a razor blade or an X-Acto knife for the fine details. And once that's all ready, place your design onto the fabric with the shiny side facing up. Then with an iron or a press at 340 degrees Fahrenheit, evenly apply heat for about 20 seconds. Then let the design cool for a few minutes and slowly peel away the backing from the design. And there it is. Congrats on making your first iron-on project. To learn more about using your Aura, check out the Aura Print Basics video series in our help and learning center on support.glowforge.com.